Natural movements follow the golden spiral. That step from one axis to the other, a so-called curve, if we move according to the curve, then neither nature nor human can resist it. Let's look at these curves. One of these curves we call step 1-1. One, one. Here we use the right arm and the left leg. No matter how tight his grip is, I can easily make this move. Why? Because I start the movement of the lower curve with my leg. Then I hand it over to my arm. Now all you have left to do is the movement following the curve we call 1-2. With your arm and with your leg. That's when the throw happens. With such curves, your opponent cannot properly resist you. Now, if we add a different characteristic to these movements, say, for instance, if we take out a pistol from a shoulder holster, the movement becomes easier and simpler. It follows the same curve that goes very naturally and calmly. At the same time, I can throw my opponent without much effort, also again using the same curve. He starts to push. I get out following the curve and I finish it. When we move following the curves, this is what happens. For example, he gives a movement there, I start the first, the second curve, and combine them together. If he grabs me in a hold like this, I'm starting to move over here following the curve, right here, and I work with both. In other words, when we make simple movements following the curve without resisting what's happening, he grabs me like this, I'm just working following the curve, gathering the curves. I'm going to show you now. This is what we call curve one one. This is the curve 1, 2. Here goes 2, 3 and 3, 5. So we start the work. I can bring the curve here and finish it like this. Just for you now. I'm bringing the curve here and I finish it. You, do you see how I jerk this arm? Here goes the curve. And the second one. I can catch up with this arm and do something else. When we are building these elements following the curves, they work. Now, if the person punches or kicks, for example, or wants to put me in some kind of hold, here, again, we direct his movements in a certain way. If I do one curve and another, the first curve is a short 1-1. One, one. You see it goes along the chest. Then I'll be able to put him down. Starting to finish the second one, then these elements are starting to work. I can get him off balance, and it will be easy to throw him if we use these movements. The curve 1-1, one, one, and here it turns into the curve 1-2. The grab capture happens 1, just an arm grab. When we build the right moves, our partner reacts to them like a certain threat. This is what happens when the punch is coming. I take it out a little, and here I, it doesn't matter if it's a leg or an arm, I hit either the liver or the groin. You see, everything depends on the work of the central nervous system. 
момента, когда мы работаем по эвазвенте, как раз идет подрывание и так далее. These elements, when we work strictly following the curves, 1-1 one, one, goes 1-2, one, or 1-2 one, goes here, as if with an overlap or a side punch, I'm redirecting. Did we hit you too hard? No, no. As long as we don't injure you. Let's try it with knives. The same thing happens with a knife. This is the first curve, the second curve, and the third if needed. Again, pay very close attention to these movements. When you are working in a combat mode, right here, where there's no bulletproof vest, well here it's all protected, and here, not. Hit slowly. See what happens. 
I poke him here, the knife goes here, and here I punch. Dodge or fake movements that our subconscious mind reacts to. We always see the past and assume the present. When I assume the present, I give fake directions. Go here, and he goes here. When I complete the moves, I give him fake movements using this vector, as if I'm actually going there. So he starts to sweep, and that's when I finish him. In other words, the movement is happening. You see, I fully control it. And he goes to the second move, I further control, control it fully. Everything happens momentarily. One small amplitude, range, and high speeds, it happens on small ones. If we do the small range 1-1, one, one, we have a higher speed of interaction. That is, if this, he has a high speed, then a smaller range. And if he has a slower speed, then a higher range, longer range. Everything is on one move, but on different amplitudes. So remember, small ampli on small amplitudes, range and high speeds. So we look at these moments. In reality, what happens to a person when he gets hit? Say he hits me with a low kick. If I take it, this is what would happen to me. Since that's what is about to happen, I do it before I get hit. And that's it. I move and defer the attack. Now, actually, I'm ahead of him. But I'm working in the same mode as if I really got hit. Do not invent anything. He only gets intentions and it's over. I can't understand. I can reach him with my foot. Your subconscious mind works 10,000 times faster than your mind. Subconscious mind has already seen me there and it goes there. I'm not there anymore. You start hitting here, all the moves are built on this principle. Even though it's natural, amplitude 1-1, one, one, a very fast movement is really happening. How is that that the leg reaches and I miss? Because the leg doesn't go here anymore. It uses a different amplitude. Say a straight hit is happening. What will happen with me if he hits me? I will fly over there. When a straight punch happens, it's as if I already flew there. I, but I send that image, that idea, I make the move as if I really flew there and nothing else. And the neat thing is, I don't turn, but I only give the motion as if I flew over there. And a person, that's how your conscious mind works. You can't do anything about it. And it doesn't matter what the speed is. But if I don't make it, we practice that. When we come out, I already give this move. We just started, and it's as if I already got hit. A person catches me there, and I hit him here. I program him. While his mind, his subconscious mind recovers, I already have an advantage. Actually, this is a military system, and it's designed to destroy the enemy. To wait until they attack you is useless. That's why I get to work as soon as possible. Insert this at 18 minutes and 33 seconds. The principle is very simple. People don't grasp that everything genius is simple. They just can't understand that everything is so simple. They are starting to look for complicated movements. Everything natural isn't ugly, and everything artificial, disgusting. Where there is no God, the evil one is there. That's where it's hopeless. We had a professor once, Dr. Gazin of St. Petersburg Academy who proposed a theory that the whole world can be explained through quarters, through space, time, energy, and information. In other words, you can use this quarters method to explain anything. That's why here we look at everything considering every detail. If space and time are located in one sector, then I can increase time by increasing space. And vice versa, I can also do this with information and ideas. Insert this at 19 minutes and 50 seconds.
То есть у человека уже подсознание... Надо было мне тоже сейчас так сделать. Человек уже меня Надо ловит где-то там, да? Я иду, он меня ловит уже там, а я его бью здесь. То есть программу его сбиваете? Да, я программу задаю пока свою. У него там... Пока его подсознание, сознание восстанавливается, начинает восстанавливаться, он... я уже имею преимущество. Вообще эта система даже не защиты, эта система, но... Военная, да, она рассчитана на уничтожение врага. Ждать, когда он на тебя нападет, бесполезно. Да, поэтому я сразу только что-то, я уже здесь... И пошла работа, еще тебе достался. Принцип очень простой. Люди никак не могут понять, что все гениально просто. Они просто не начинают, не верят, как так просто, не может быть. Начинают искать какие-то очень сложные, да, искусственные моменты. А все, естественно, не безобразно, искусственное, все безобразно. Там образа Бога нет, там уже образ лукавого, скажем так, присутствует. Да? А там, где лукавый, там уже бесполезно. У нас в свое время Ганзин такой есть, был, вернее, профессор, доктор наук Петербургской, а ныне Академии, да, тогда был университет. Вот, он выдвинул Теорию о том, что можно весь мир описать через четвертичность, так называемую, да? через пространство, время, энергию и информацию. То есть все, что мы не берем, мы можем через эту четвертичность расписать. Да? Поэтому мы здесь смотрим, опять тоже включаем все вот эти моменты. Да? То есть если у нас пространство и время находятся в одном секторе, то я могу, увеличивая пространство, увеличивать время. Или наоборот, расширяя время, расширять пространство. И все я могу это делать за счет информации, то есть за счет образа. То есть, когда мы смотрим, мы рассматриваем вот эту четвертичность, да, все в мире выстроено через крест. When we look at this circle, divided into quarters, we see that everything in this world is structured like a cross. Here is space, time, energy, information. The space in its nature is earth. It's measured in space. Time is water. Water is running, like time. It flows and changes. Energy in its nature is fire, and information, that's air. It can penetrate anywhere. Here we can see another quarterly pattern. Where there is space and earth, it's physically something hard. Here, water, time and liquid. Social moments. In other words, cooperation, flow. Where we have fire, energy, that's where there is thinking, knowledge, mental movement, and where there is information in the quarter, there is air, supermental and spiritual. When we look at all these quarters, look at them through a spiral. We get a full picture of creation, a full picture of the evolution of man, just like through a spiral. Here we'll have one, 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 two, two, three, three, five, five, eight, eight, thirteen, thirteen, twenty-one, and here, thirty-four. When we look at this spiral, we can see the full picture of the evolution of man. Before turning one year old, a person is located in the supermental and mental area, just learning about the world. God, the right hemisphere. Visual thinking is here. Here is the left one, logical. In biblical terms, the father is here on the right, and here is the spirit. So here we will have the mother of God, and here the Holy Spirit. When a child is developing, he is under God and the Holy Spirit. His social development is happening here. From one to two, he is starting to smile. He is starting to talk. Functions and flow like water. Physical development is happening here from two to three. Increase in his biomass. He is starting to run very well. From three to five, he again enters the spiritual area, the area of visual thinking. It's important that here a child receive only visual and imaginative education. If you give him logical education, he won't take it either. In this quarter, when you read fairy tales to him, he develops imaginative reading skills. He remembers pictures. He remembers letters like pictures. And reads not by letters, but by pictures, by the letters images. From five till eight, the logical thinking is developed. It's important to develop logic thinking. Here a child should start reading logically, intentionally. 
not just by reading the image of letters but intentionally, knowing what each letter means. In this sector the child starts to count multiply. From 8 to 13 it's a social area. The mother of God. Love. First love. This is where he experiences the real first love. The one that will feed him energetically until the next point at the age of 55. It is very important that the child receives love during this period. If he comes home from school and is being yelled at or hit, it disturbs his development. He shouldn't be involved in violence, maybe even ballroom dancing. Insert this at 24 minutes and 25 seconds. From a side, it seems like I'm not doing anything, but in reality, I am involving visual images. When he hits, I employ imaginative movements. Here is where the development from 21 to 34 is happening. In other words, before turning 21, a person was developing physically. Everything is fine with him, natural movements. Here you can employ visual imaging thinking, work with the subconscious mind. In the subconscious mind, that's the right hemisphere, there is everything. There is God's program. If we power it on, learn to employ it, then nothing threatens us. From age 34 to 55, it's important to use meaningful conscious work. That is where the left hemisphere comes on, the knowledge of the subtle world and energy. Here I don't use images as much, but I work more with cooperation of his energy. For example, I redirect the movement. In other words, instead of using the image, I redirect cooperation with his subtle energy. With this interaction, these movements are employed, switched on. And here, by the age of 55, a person must master and learn how to control his spirit and air. If you develop correctly, then you can control all natures, air, fire, water. He can control clouds, disperse rain clouds, gather rain just like our predecessors used to do. And they used to control through water. Since a person is 75% water, he can pour information into this water, any information even negative, which will make a person feel bad, or positive to heal a person. That was the foundation of our grandfathers and Magi's teachings. They wrote on water with pitchforks. They put the information into the water. That's where they got the name Living Water. From the age 21 to 34 years old, I'm not saying there is no energy here. It's just first and foremost, it's really the image. Secondary is everything else. Here the first is energy, here is social, first of all love, interaction through water, and here from 89 to 144 our predecessors transformed their body, that's it.
A real fight is meant to kill, while sport is everything to not kill. Early Russian fighters used to just break your ribcage. There are many people like that now. But sport is structured in such a way to avoid injuries and death. When you get in a sport, it's good physical development. An athlete and a fighter are different. Different psychology. Same with a hit or stroke. You create a flow. The fist is already going if you train to follow the curve. And if we use these moments, I can do it as a fighting aspect or as a therapeutic aspect. It's the same movement, the same spine, back. Here, he lets go of this arm. The movement continues. The shoulder gives direction. Then my body moves into this energy corridor and it's being pulled. Feng Shui was built on these principles. People don't understand, but masters do. I give direction, my body goes there, it bends, it frees up the energy in a fight. There you need to give into the energy corridor, and then we're working. Вот я смотрю, вот. я здесь вот да, пустил, а теперь вот эта рука идет сначала вот она движение. У нас направление движения дает плечо. Вот я дал направление, вот это направление. Тогда у меня тело идет вот в этот коридор энергетический. Его вытягивают буквально. Вообще вот это вот ушу изначально оно, скажем так, было построено на, на этих же принципах. Потом выхолостили просто, да, люди уже не понимают, что они делают. Но мастера-то понимают, восточные мастера. Пойдите в Ань. Да. Там вот эти вот все моменты, вот. То есть я сначала дал направление, у меня тело прям туда пошло. Понимаешь? Когда я дал, вот и тело прям туда. Выгибает, вверх тянет. Вот эти вот моменты, когда мы освобождаем энергетически, скажем так, вот этот поток даем, освобождаем движение. Вот когда, скажем так, бой идет, то же самое, то есть там тоже нужно дать коридоры в нем уже работать.